Hello everybody, I am here to share with you a process video. I um, used all of the papers and embellishments except for a few enamel dots. All came from my Scraptastic December kit, which is called The Most Wonderful Time of Year. I got that kit and um, the add-on as well, so some of this might be from the add-on. Um, and for the layout, I used a sketch from Creative Scrappers blog. I love using sketches from that blog. Um, typically when I do, I was going to share what the layout looked like, but I did not have a photo of it um, on the computer already. So if you'd like to go check that out, though, that's Creative Scrappers. I will leave a link to their blog down below. And I used the sketch number 285. It's one of their newer sketches, and as soon as I saw it come up, because I get them in my email, I think they do two new sketches a month, and as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to do this one for one of my Christmas layouts. So that is exactly what the sketch pretty much looks like. Um, I typically follow a sketch to the T. Uh, that bow paper is going to end up being a banner, though, but... Um, this the sketch where it shows where to lay the papers out and the photo that's I pretty much stuck with that exactly and I do put embellishments where it states to put embellishments and I typically put a title where it tells you to put the title I don't like to stray much from sketches I don't know why I just it's kind of difficult for me so I made that that bow paper into a banner and I really like that I thought it kind of looked a little random just Kind of being a scrap of paper. And I'm trying to remember what all I did with this. I actually did this a few weeks ago. This is actually going to be a very simple layout. Um, other than following the sketch, I just used um, a bunch of those snowflakes for my embellishments and um, a few of the ephemera. And that's that's going to be pretty much it. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out where I want like the largest snowflakes and the smallest snowflakes and like what exactly I want on this layout. That little tab that I just put up to the top that's a little um, came in the ephemera pack and it says joy to the world. And I thought that that snowflake was kind of blending into that green paper. So you're going to see me put something behind that snowflake up on the top as well. Um, I think here pretty soon. Um, we got a ton of stickers in that um, December kit, and I tried to use them up. I had so many. I unfortunately did not end up using, I don't think, any stickers on this layout at all. So I'm going to have a ton of those left over. We got a whole bunch of packs and they have words and tabs and just everything. So here I'm trying to figure out. I needed to add just a little bit... Um, more color I think oh no here I'm trying to figure out what I want to put down um, for my embellishment down there and so if you can kind of see that white space that when I put that circle jingle uh, it says jingle all the way when I had it touching both of those strips of paper there was a white space trapped in, be in between so I did move it up and you can kind of see now where there's a break between that circle and that bottom strip of paper so that, that kind of opened up that white space. Here I'm trying to figure out what I want to put behind that snowflake to kind of really make it pop. And so I just chose this kind of a, it's almost dark charcoal tag. And it just kind of brings up that upper embellishment a little bit more. So I really like that. And I needed to bring just a little bit of that dark up to the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the snowflake back, and I really liked that little layering there. It's just kind of a subtle element at the top. I liked how it kept all of the heavier embellishments at the bottom. And that's why I chose to put the dark colors on the bottom, just because they were a lot more heavy than, than the green triangle paper at the top. And so now here I'm trying to bring some of the green down towards the bottom. And that's when I chose this little green banner. And I'm just going, oh, it's it's like a paper clip. And so I'm just going to kind of clip it on. I think I do end up gluing it down, though, as well. Yeah. I'll get to that, yeah. And so now I have to 
relay out all of my snowflakes. I never forget to take a photo of my layout. I figure if I can't remember what it looks like when I take it apart, I'll figure it out again. Or maybe I'll find out something new that I really like. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start taping everything down before I forget. Usually I stop messing around with my layouts once I have everything taped down. I, I tend to just kind of make everything go a little bit faster because then I feel like I've committed to that look. Oh, and here I'm putting the pop dots underneath the banner to kind of give it a little bit of dimension. Those are really thin little black pop dots, not that thick. So it just gives it a slight kind of lift. Now that snowflake is covering up some of the words underneath jingle where it says all the way and that's okay. I don't mind at all. And um, that little piece that I just put down was the center of the large snowflake. I just wanted a whole bunch of different sizes and since I only had four at the bottom I decided to make it an, an odd number. And I'm going to go ahead and glue down my snowflakes. And I like to use Tombow on delicate things like that because it, it does come out in smaller amounts. Although I have had some trouble with that thing clogging up on me. I was kind of surprised. And if the glue does kind of come out around it, it's never really a big deal. Okay, so I guess I should have sped this up a little bit more. Um, on the snowflakes, I'm really only putting glue around the centers and leaving the edges to just kind of come up as they will and that that added quite a bit of dimension here I'm gonna kind of pull them up so that it adds that extra dimension and I really like the way that those turned out up at the top I have another one of those centers for the snowflakes and I just added that there and I have a third one yep and I do put it there Sorry, I'm trying to look at the layout as well, make sure that I remember everything that I did. Oh, and on this little banner, I had put um, dimensionals on the end. That's not going to end up working out for me. So I, I know I end up ripping those off at one point and just adhering it with regular tape, double-sided ad adhesive. Yeah, I do take those off. I think that it just had kind of trouble sticking down because of the snowflake or something. And um, I just wanted to use some of those holiday words um, since it's pretty obvious this is a holiday layout. I don't really have much to say about the photo. It was just a Christmas Eve photo of my daughter in her pajamas sitting by the tree and so I just kind of wanted to talk about um, some of the traditions that we have for Christmas Eve and so I'm going to draw my journaling lines and I really liked how um, they turned out going around the title like this and I like to draw the lines especially on paper like this it, I don't know if it's going to end up straight or not and I just leave the lines on there I'm writing I'm drawing them in with my sharpie so there will be no erasing. And I just really think it, it just looks nice, especially on this layout. On some, I could see where I would want to erase it. But. And here I wanted to bring in a little bit more black. I was so indecisive on that. That doesn't end up staying. Um, that little star, I don't, it would have looked fine. I just, here's where I kind of sw switched out that banner there. And that's right. That's why I had um, dropped it down because I wanted to stick that star there. And I'm going to end up laying a lot of these little stars out. And for some reason, I'm looking everywhere to put these. And they, they just don't look right. I think there's just too many elements going on. I have the bows and the paper. I have the triangles and the upper paper. I added a whole bunch of snowflakes. I just think that the stars was too much. So I'm going to end up taking all of those off here in just a few minutes. Hopefully. Maybe they stay for a few minutes. Nope, there they go. 
and luckily they weren't that sticky so they just popped right off and didn't ruin anything. Okay, now um, here's where I add the enamel dots. Now, those all came from my stash, I'm pretty sure. I had some greens that matched the green paper really, really well. So I'm going to use some green, some sparkly silver, and I think I even add one, oh, and some gray, and I add one black up at the top. And that's just to kind of bring some of that darkness up to the top. I was very indecisive on this. I, usually I just kind of slap the enamel dots down, but here I was trying to figure out exactly where I wanted everything. And I know we're getting close to the end of this layout because I'm not going to really add much more other than the journaling. So um, I guess I'll just read to you the journaling. While you watch the rest of the enamel dots. Okay, so the title, Noel, and then I wrote Christmas Eve this year, you got Minnie Mouse PJs, a pink My Little Pony from um, from your grandparents, and a dog that rolls around by itself from Brianna, who's her sister. Uh, this year, we included the cousins in the exchange. You got Logan, and you picked out a basketball. And so that's our Christmas Eve tradition is to do a gift exchange with the children and that's one of the gifts that they get to open and they also get their pajamas for Christmas morning. They get them Christmas night. They get to wear them. That way they're in them for Christmas morning. So that is all of my layout. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye!